Hey guys, um, this is, this is, uh, Ryan here, uh, wishing you all a happy holidays, um, and, uh, I got, I got back from, and, uh, right now I have something to share with you guys, it's something pretty cool, um, I am actually, I actually saw the, the December, in the early December I saw three unique movies that I've been waiting to see for a while, and, uh, I wanted to share, you know, what they're about. They're they're kind of different from each other. Um, uh, first up is Godzilla minus one. Um, this is a movie that uh, that is very unique because um, it's another reboot, like uh, Shin from Japan from Toho, like Shin Godzilla, but um, it takes place in post war Japan, like not even, you know, like seven <laughs> seven years before the you know, Godzilla, like, usually appears in 1954, um, and, uh, this, and, uh, what I like about it is that, well, it's very much like the original, but also in some ways like Shin Godzilla, because you have a Godzilla that evolves in it, and also there's a lot of drama, there's a lot of drama, and it's, I mean, all I can say is that it's really great, Godzilla's great, and, Honestly, I really cared for the characters, you know, in this uh, post-war uh, society. And uh, and also there are uh, some things like Godzilla, and one other thing like Shin Godzilla is Godzilla being, uh, how, how to say, uh, America's fault. Um, like, like them directly saying America was what caused Godzilla to become so big. But anyway, that's... Um, it's a great movie, great movie. Um, the second one is a little bit of a mixed bag by people. Um, it's it's called Silent Night. It's um, no, not Silent Night, Deadly Night, or Silent Night, Bloody Night, or what have you, um, or even the Silent Night, Deadly Night remake. <laughs> That's just called Silent Night. Um, it's uh, uh, this one is by John Woo. It's uh, very uh, unique, unique. Um, and uh, it, it, I, I don't think there's any well, one thing that's un, that that makes it separate from all the other ones. I mean, there are some trademarks like the sim, like the sad stuff and the great great action scenes. But um, in this case, uh, what makes this different is that there's like virtually no dialogue in the whole thing. Like it's a like the dialogue I think is kept to a minimum, and it's a very visual sort of movie. So. I mean, if you, if you don't, um, and, uh, right now it's a bit, I think, in part because of that, it's a little polarizing. As for the plot, it's more just sort of a simple revenge, uh, and John Woo actually did this sort of thing with, you know, the revenge plot, like, in Face Off, for instance, um, but I, but that's sort of, but that's kind of, you know, but even, you know, John Woo can pull off a simple plot you know, pretty, pretty, can do pretty well with, you know, neat action and performances. And, uh, without, you know, these characters, like, saying a word, you really feel it. Like, you feel for the guy who's out for revenge, the cop in, you know, who ends up the cop in it, um, even the villain, you know, you see, like, without them saying a word, you kind of feel what they're, you know, thinking. Um, I can see why some people might not like it because of the silence and, um, the story, like, is kind of, you know, like, not exactly original, but, um, I think that, so I can see why some people might not like it, you know, but, but, but I like it, and I hope, you know, you guys like it, and, um, just if you don't, uh, definitely, uh, share, uh, but the second, uh, but the, th or, sorry, the third, uh, and final one, um, this is, it's, uh, The Boy in the Heron. It's, um, a Studio Ghibli movie. Um, it's by, uh, of course, by Hayao Miyazaki after, as, what I think was, 10-year absence since he made a feature movie, feature film. Um, and, uh, this one, uh, like, and this one is, um, like, you know, several of his things has, a, several of his movies has a very personal, you know, feel with it. And in this instance, um, it follows this boy named, uh, Mahito. No, not Mojito, just Mahito. And, uh, it's, and, uh, 
and uh, Mahito, um, his family uh, during, uh, I think it was wartime Japan, um, during a fire, there's a fire um, in their city of Tokyo, and uh, his mother dies, and uh, he's dealing with this great uh, loss, and, uh, well, basically, um, like, to put it, uh, without giving too much away, they, they moved to this um, fan. They moved to this, like, family. And, like, as, as, as Mahito is dealing with this loss, his, his father and them moved to, uh, I think it was Osaka, where, with this, uh, woman that, um, his father, um, is in love with, who has a child, so he's having a sibling. And, um, while this, while he's, you know, dealing with his new surroundings and the loss, um, his, He's visited by this mystical uh, gray heron, and um, uh, before he knows it, he's taken to this um, other other world, um, and he and he tries to navigate through this other world to like try and you know and deal with with the loss. And uh, I like the well, I mean, as usual, the animation is like freaking amazing. <laughs> I mean, all the little things like. The creatures are great, the towns are great, the characters are well animated, it's, it's yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool, uh, as always, but, but he's, but the thing, but I love how, how even, like, in the, how, you know, creative some of the spirits and stuff get, and, uh, I, I saw the dub version of the movie, and, uh, the, the dub cast they got is pretty good, like, he got, and, uh, one thing to note is that, uh, Christian Bale is actually in this, um, I think this makes it the second time, um, he's been in some, uh, you have a returning actor from a Studio Ghibli, from one Studio Ghibli movie to another, and, uh, but yeah, that was, so that was pretty surprising to find out he, he, you know, liked it so much, he did it a second time, um, and, uh, and I think he plays the father, in case you're wondering, um, but the spirit, but yeah, like it has a lot of great, you know, world building with the spirit world and there's a lot of backstory and I really felt for the characters as they were, how even though like all the supernatural stuff is happening, they still feel like real, you know, people and stuff and yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I that, that those are all three movies that I saw. I saw a kaiju movie, uh, an unconventional Christmas movie. Fitting to, to December since you know it's December, and uh, third is a, and third of course being a great Studio Ghibli uh, anime. So anyway, uh, that's all I have to say. I uh, hope you enjoy hearing my thoughts on this, you know, stuff, and uh, hope you guys have a happy holidays. So bye.